Hey, you can't do that. It's not safe. Food safety and 3D printing can be a touchy subject. So let's break down the main concerns when it comes to FDM 3D printing. One, brass nozzles contain lead that could end up in your prints and lead is bad. Two, the material itself needs to be food safe and most aren't. Three, layer lines create a great environment for bacterial growth and that's bad. So let's take a look at the first one, the brass nozzles. Brass contains trace amounts of lead to improve machinability. Brass usually contains about 2% lead, and lead-free brass can still contain up to 0.25%. No level of lead in the body is considered safe, and 25 micrograms per deciliter is considered toxic in adults. The average human has 5 liters of blood in their body, that's 50 deciliters, 50 times 25 micrograms is 1,250 micrograms. That's 1.25 milligrams. It's not much. A standard nozzle weighs 2 grams. 2% 2 of 2 grams is 0 0.04 grams, or 40 milligrams, which means there's more than enough lead in a 3D printing nozzle to cause lead toxicity. Only a small fraction of that would ever end up in your prints, but it's still present in the material. The solution to this is to use a stainless steel nozzle. Stainless steel generally does not contain any lead and is a food safe contact material. That covers the brass nozzle. On to the next point, 3D printing material. There are a decent number of plastics that can be food safe. Some of them include PLA, PP, copolyester, PET, PETG, HIPS, and nylon 6. All of these plastics can be food safe, but that doesn't mean that they are. Manufacturers need to ensure that the base plastic they're using is food safe and that the coloring pigments are also food safe. They also need to examine their extrusion process to make sure the filament is not coming into contact with harmful metals like the lead and brass from earlier. Many companies offer certified food safe filaments and the ones that I've gotten are from filaments.ca not a sponsor of this video, but I like their products. That leaves layer lines. I think this is the hardest problem to get past. FDM 3D printing inherently has layer lines that are a breeding ground for bacteria. We can use a food safe epoxy to smooth out the surface, but now you need to account for the extra layers in your design phase because this bulks out your print. And if you're not accounting for that, then the functionality is going to be gone. You can smooth certain plastics, but that requires harsh chemicals. Another option is to use a 2-in-1 filler primer to get a smooth surface, then cast your print using silicone and food safe epoxies. You could also vacuum form your print depending on the geometries of the part. All this to say, the nozzle can be stainless, you can use food safe materials, but layer lines are probably going to be your downfall. If you're printing for prototyping reasons, then these layer lines shouldn't stop you from testing your product on food, but if you intend on using the part repeatedly, it's probably best not to use a 3D printed FDM part to handle your food. I hope you liked the video. Hit that subscribe button because you like to 3D print stuff and I'll see you in the next one.